Test 4 There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. How will the man travel to the city centre? Excuse me, what's the best way to get to the city centre? Well, it's probably easiest to take a taxi, especially if you've got a lot of luggage. I've just got a light bag. Is there a bus that goes there? Yes, there is, but it takes quite a long route. What about the underground? It's a short walk from here and the trains go every ten minutes. It'd be faster than a taxi. That sounds perfect. I'll do that. Thanks so much for your help. No problem. Now listen again. Excuse me, what's the best way to get to the city centre? Well, it's probably easiest to take a taxi, especially if you've got a lot of luggage. I've just got a light bag. Is there a bus that goes there? Yes, there is, but it takes quite a long route. What about the underground? It's a short walk from here and the trains go every ten minutes. It'd be faster than a taxi. That sounds perfect. I'll do that. Thanks so much for your help. No problem. Two. What did the girl dislike at the hostel she stayed in? How was your holiday? Good. The hostel was OK, but not great. Uh, I've heard about problems with mice in some of the hostels in the area you visited. Really? Well, they've obviously done something about that. The thing was, our beds didn't have mosquito nets, so we got bitten almost every night, even after putting on insect cream. Right. And then every morning we heard monkeys running across the roof. I didn't mind that at all, though. It was like being in a hostel in the jungle. Now listen again. How was your holiday? Good. The hostel was OK, but not great. Uh, I've heard about problems with mice in some of the hostels in the area you visited. Really? Well, they've obviously done something about that. The thing was, our beds didn't have mosquito nets, so we got bitten almost every night, even after putting on insect cream. Right. And then every morning we heard monkeys running across the roof. I didn't mind that at all, though. It was like being in a hostel in the jungle. Three. What is the man going to order for lunch? What are you going to order, then? Mm, let me see. I think I'd like the salmon. You're so boring. I knew you'd say fish. You never try anything different. I'm having pizza. They make them really thin and tasty here. Yes, my sister had one last time we ate here. She said it was great. How about the curry? That's excellent, I believe. Mm, nice idea, but I've heard it's very spicy. I've made up my mind. I'll have what I always have. <laughs> of course. Now listen again. What are you going to order then? Mm, let me see. I think I'd like the salmon. You're so boring. I knew you'd say fish. You never try anything different. I'm having pizza. They make them really thin and tasty here. Yes, my sister had one last time we ate here. She said it was great. How about the curry? That's excellent, I believe. Mm, nice idea, but I've heard it's very spicy. I've made up my mind. I'll have what I always have. <laughs> of course. Four. 
4. What sport would the woman like to try? I've decided to take up a new sport. There are lots of classes starting at the sports centre near the golf course. What sport are you thinking of doing? Well, I did consider golf. When I looked at the cost, though, I realised it's way more than I can afford. Anyway, I'm not that good at racket sports, but I wouldn't mind giving badminton a go. You need to be so strong to play tennis. I might do a new sports class too. Hey, come along with me. Now listen again. I've decided to take up a new sport. There are lots of classes starting at the sports centre near the golf course. What sport are you thinking of doing? Well, I did consider golf. When I looked at the cost, though, I realised it's way more than I can afford. Anyway, I'm not that good at racket sports, but I wouldn't mind giving badminton a go. You need to be so strong to play tennis. I might do a new sports class too. Hey, come along with me. Five. Which book is the man reading? What's the book you're reading about? It's a novel by one of my favourite writers. A lot of his books are based on his experiences flying planes around the world. This one's set at sea, a guy who crosses the Pacific Ocean on his own and all the challenges he has to deal with. I've heard he's working on a new one at the moment about an astronaut who goes to the moon and can't get back. It sounds interesting. Anyway, this one's really exciting. Sounds cool. Now listen again. What's the book you're reading about? It's a novel by one of my favourite writers. A lot of his books are based on his experiences flying planes around the world. This one's set at sea, a guy who crosses the Pacific Ocean on his own and all the challenges he has to deal with. I've heard he's working on a new one at the moment about an astronaut who goes to the moon and can't get back. It sounds interesting. Anyway, this one's really exciting. Sounds cool. Six. Where does the man suggest going at the weekend? Hi, Sue. It's Matt. Thanks for your message. I think it's a great idea to go out for the day at the weekend. You mentioned going for a walk on the beach. I've just looked at the weather forecast, though, and there might be a storm coming. There's a new art exhibition on at the museum, definitely worth seeing, or so I've heard. I wondered about going to the cinema and had a look at what's on. There's nothing very exciting this weekend. Anyway, let me know what you think. Bye. Now listen again. Hi, Sue. It's Matt. Thanks for your message. I think it's a great idea to go out for the day at the weekend. You mentioned going for a walk on the beach. I've just looked at the weather forecast, though, and there might be a storm coming. There's a new art exhibition on at the museum. Definitely worth seeing, or so I've heard. I wondered about going to the cinema and had a look at what's on. There's nothing very exciting this weekend. Anyway, let me know what you think. Bye. Seven. How much is the latest smartphone in the store today? At ABC's phone store, we've got some fantastic offers this week. For an amazing £599, the most up-to-date smartphone is now available. It's got a great camera and the biggest memory ever. But hurry, this offer is only on for a few days. If you wait till Monday, it'll be back to its usual price of £699. If either of these prices is more than you can afford, there's always last year's model, which is just £499. But don't delay. When they're gone, they're gone. Come early to avoid disappointment. Now listen again.
At ABC's phone store, we've got some fantastic offers this week. For an amazing £599, the most up-to-date smartphone is now available. It's got a great camera and the biggest memory ever. But hurry, this offer is only on for a few days. If you wait till Monday, it'll be back to its usual price of £699. If either of these prices is more than you can afford, there's always last year's model, which is just £499. But don't delay. When they're gone, they're gone. Come early to avoid disappointment. That is the end of part one.